Thanks for joining us. Valley News Live gliding through the five o'clock hour and our quiet weather is about to change. For most of us, we want to get those things prepared for our winter storm that's heading our way. It's a first alert weather day for Friday. Snow begins tonight, as you see in our western counties, mainly in the 10 o'clock hour and after. But as we head to bed tonight, that snow is going to accumulate. The wind increases we will have morning impacts right away, mainly in the Devil's Lake Basin down towards the Valley City area where we could have several inches of snow on the ground with wind. It'll just be getting started with accumulating snow here in the Southern Valley, but by the midday hour and into the afternoon, a band of very heavy snow and gusty wind will cause dangerous travel conditions for many area. But first thing in the morning, that morning drive will be impacted Devil's Lake to Valley City. We'll get you up to date with the latest on that. But first I have some smiling news to tell you. It's the return of our Luther Family Court uh, Ford Weather Kid and joining me now is Mason Zito. Mason, step out here now. Young man, how old are you? Uh, I am 10 years old. Very good. Where do you go to school? Horizon West Middle School. Horizon. Now, you guys are, what, what's your mascot again? Broccoli? Uh, the mascot of the school? Um, Spuddy the Potato. Oh, the potatoes. That's right. I knew it was something like that. I have spuds at home. I know <laughs> that. All right. Uh, anybody you want to say hi to before we get started um, talking about I would them? like to say hi to my mom, dad, grandparents, and cousins. Oh, let's give them all a big wave. And you told me you uh, play a musical instrument too, right? A uh, saxophone. Very cool. All right. Well, let's sneak over here. I want you to point out what you're seeing on this map here. What's all that blue stuff you see up in Canada? Uh, the blue stuff is snow. Okay. And we do have a little bit of it starting to show up just to the west of Bismarck, but uh, does it look real big or too heavy? No. No, not too much. The white stuff, that's clouds, and we have that for pretty much mm -hmm. everybody. Now, why don't you tell folks at home in the uh, red area what that means? In the red area, as you can see, it's a storm warning. That's right. So that's where we'll have the biggest impacts from our wintry weather. Is Fargo in that warning? Yes. Yeah, we are. At, it includes Fergus Falls. What other towns do you see in it? Uh, I see Fergus Falls, Watertown, and Ligon. Very good. And Jamestown as well. Mm -hmm. We're going to get right to the hour by hour forecast. Get all your outside fun done tonight because by the 10 o'clock hour, point out a couple towns seeing snow. Uh, Harvey, Harvey, Jamestown, and Devil's Lake a little bit. All right, so we're just getting started. The snow is going to expand as we head toward the overnight hours. I pause this at 2 in the morning. Uh, is Fargo seeing snow then at that time? Yes. How about your grandparents, where they live? Where do they live, by the way? Um, they live in Roseau, and they do not seem to be having any snow right now. No, not at 2 in the morning. They don't have to worry about it. But as we head into the morning hours, drive time, uh, the snow is going to be working its way through the valley and beyond. Why don't you point out by noon where the snow is? Um, the snow will be in Valley City, Fargo, and Fergus Falls. So it's going to continue its trek southward. It'll be ending up north, but still snowing. And what are the yellow arrows indicative of? Um, wind. Very gusty wind out there as we go through the afternoon. So some areas could have, at least at times, near blizzard conditions and reduced visibility. Tricky mm -hmm. travel. Now, as you're heading home, look at, at 2 o'clock, the snow begins mm -hmm. to end. Does it look like we have snow in the area at 5 o'clock? Uh... Only in season, but otherwise that, uh, I don't see any. That's right. So by the time we get to the 5 o'clock drive, the snow will be gone. The wind will still be strong in the south, but we'll have a chance to clean up as we go through the late mm -hmm. night hours and into tomorrow. The temperatures tomorrow, what do you see for Roseau and your uh, grandparents? Negative 6 for Fargo 5, Detroit Lex Lakes 3. Very good. Let's talk about how much snow we get. Where's the heaviest snow that you're seeing on here? Um, Devil's Lake. Yeah, Devil's Lake, straight down to Jamestown, Gwinner, all the way into Sisseton, mm -hmm. five to ten plus. A few of you getting a foot or more. Fargo, how about four to eight here? And uh, how about Grand Forks? What's this say here? Three, three and six. Yeah, three to six inches for Grand Forks and into Detroit Lakes. Planning forecast. Oh, let's talk about right now. Why don't you tell everybody the temperature outside in Fargo? Um, the temperature feels like three, but it's actually 15. Very good, Mason. Now, I want you to take a point out uh, some temperatures that we're seeing around the area right here, right now. Uh, right now, Fargo is 15. Oh, good. Roseau is 10, where my grandparents live. Good. And 
Oaks is 19. Very good. So we do have the coldest weather up to the north. Now for your day tomorrow in Fargo, what's the temperature first uh, in, in the morning look like? Uh, 16 degrees. Good. And uh, some snow and that snow continues. Uh, when does it look like the snow will stop in Fargo? Um, at 4 p.m. Good. And 14 degrees. Then in the evening, the temperatures just start falling off. So yeah. here is ooh, what kind of animal is that? I think it's a fox. Yeah, it looks like a fox there. That's our photo of the day. Thanks so much. Why don't you tell everybody after our stormy weather on Friday what Saturday looks like? Saturday looks like windy, a high of 17 and gusty. All right, and I liked it when you were pointing at stuff. Point out what you can see on Sunday. Good um, job. On Sunday, there's a chance of light snow. Uh huh. Um, in the morning, 13, but in the afternoon, it's 29. Good, and Martin Luther King Day looks mild as well with a mm -hmm. chance of light snow, but then we turn the temperatures down. It gets colder. Mason, nice job. Step on over here. I got to tell you, you handled that like a pro, and it was a busy weather day, too. You can sign your kids up by uh, heading over to Luther Family Ford to be a weather kid over there, uh, or you can log on to valleynewslive.com and click on the contest tab to uh, sign your kids up to be a weather kid. Mike, what do you think? I think uh, you should name your grandparents and Rosa. What are their first names? Um, Alan and... Grandma. I forgot. <laughs> grandpa and Grandma. Okay, yeah. Grandpa and Grandma. They, um, you I, made call them, I call them Mimi and Papa. You make oh. them very proud, I, yeah. I can tell you that. <laughs> One place that the snow is welcomed is in Alaska, where a North Dakota girl is training with her dog team to compete in the Junior Iditarod next month. Eva Robinson from Cavalier and her team will compete February 26th. The team, named Diva Dogs Racing, is training just a few miles from the historic Iditarod Trail. Space heaters are popular this time of year, but they must be used properly to avoid becoming a fire danger. We'll have safety tips next on Valley News Live at 5.